evening. The family facing a horrific possibility. Their loved one's murderer now up for parole. After 44 years behind bars, they are fighting to make sure he doesn't get out. Morella Porter joins us live in studio. And Morella, the prosecutor, also fighting his release with some strong words. Yeah, exactly. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell says Kenneth Sandlin's release would put the public in danger. That is how heinous his crimes were. The victim's family doesn't like to talk about his murder, but they're forced to. This week, they met with the parole board for the second time in five years to try and keep Sandlin locked up. He just enjoyed life. He loved hanging with his family. Nearly 45 years later, the pain is still deep. My mom's 83 years old, and she still struggles every day by her boy not being home. Arnold Davis was just 19 when he was murdered on September 16, 1978. His little sister, Cheryl Allen, still remembers his beautiful brown hair and the last time she saw his face. So we looked down on him in the casket. It was chopped up, uh, just little strings of it hanging. Davis's murder gripped the South Lebanon community. His family held on to the newspaper clippings. One of the most gruesome cases in the state at the time. Davis and his girlfriend were lured to a field. He was stabbed up to 80 times, his body dumped in an old well. She was tortured and raped. Davis's cousin, Wanda Allen, can't escape memories from trial. You just couldn't believe that somebody could do something like that to some a human being when they show pictures and things. His mother just passed out in the courtroom. Kenneth Sandlin was one of two men convicted. The other died in prison. Sandlin is now up for parole for the second time since 2018. It puts the whole family in jeopardy. Adding salt to the wounds that haven't fully healed. And until the day I die, I would do whatever I have to do to keep him Kenneth Sellen in the prison. You have to go on and just trust in God and having faith in God. Davis's family hopes others join their fight. Or if you haven't had a chance to read what Prosecutor David Forenshell has put on Parole Watch, then you need to read it. And then you need to ask yourself, would I want this human being as a neighbor? But and Davis's family says Sandlin's parole hearing is set for June 27th. The Warren County prosecutor is taking public comments on the case. Paula. All right, Morella, and we have a link to the Warren County prosecutor's website where you can leave your comments. Visit our website, local12.com, then click on the Get It Now links. It is titled Kenneth Sandlin Parole Board Comments.